Cosmic Cosmos versus Dead D. Yes, and, and like we said, this was the grand finals of Shockwave Grapevine. It's happened yeah. on Monday. Denti emerged victorious, but Cosmic Cosmos, he's had a little bit more time in the lab. He's had a little bit more time to experiment with this character. Let's see what he's able to bring to the table. Uh, Denti rocking the squid tag, uh, along with a couple of other DFW reps who use the same control set. Um, he was uh, about in the month of January. He was hitting a little bit of a struggle. He was uh, yes, uh, definitely having a little bit of a character crisis and uh, having a little bit of a placement price, uh, crisis. But um, I mean, we saw it at Shockwave Grapevine. He took first place, and I mean, while that was about 20 entrants, those were a stacked 20 entrants. You have people like Cosmic Cosmos, Phenom, and the likes of those there, and. I mean, Denti's just, uh, I feel like he's back in his zone. I feel like he needs to take a little bit of a break and then come back and it's been working out. Well, let's see if a little bit of zen that he's gained now that the months have changed. It's going to be enough for him to go and, and start taking some shockwaves back. In, in the last month of January, now I think about it, uh, and even a little bit of February, we've had all sorts of folks Topping the charts, right? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Mew Squared last week taking his first yeah, shockwave. Yeah, the month of January saw uh, one pay to play with Gibbous win and uh, three Dakpo wins. <laughs> the month of February saw one Mew Squared win. And we have so far not had the same person place third yet. Really? We've had a different person place third every single time here at Shockwave. And, uh, and we're seeing uh, two strong candidates for top three right now. Well, Denti seems like he's taking a liking towards this cloud, but I think that Cosmic Cosmos has taken a liking towards demolishing wow. that stock. Holy God, 15 seconds, and Cosmic Cosmos only taking 8% in that process. And Cloud, a relatively new character for Denti, he may have taken Shockwave Grapevine with that cloud, but looks like Cosmic Cosmos learned a little bit of something. Oh, my God. Goodness, Corin in the house. Oh, come on. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now I want to sing the theme song. Thank oh, no. You, oh, no. <laughs> Save it for me. Well, Denti does have uh, some things going for him, despite the fact that he got knocked out pretty quickly with his first stock. He already see Cosmic Cosmos oh. high percent, and Denti with an excellent call out there slices up that stock and brings this down to one of these. And while Corrin may be able to rack up some ridiculous damage and take a stock, so can Cloud. Look, Denti's already doubling his percent and more as he just pours it on. What started off so promising for Cosmic Cosmos might all of a sudden spell disaster. Denti missing with the up air. Want to see how much limit he has on lock. He has a little bit of time, so he's going to be charging that up. And that, that throw is definitely going to grant him a little bit more time to charge that limit. Oh. Going off deep for that cross slash. It doesn't really pay off, though. Loses a bit of that stage control. Now we are back in neutral. But he's got all that momentum going off stage for that swagger side beat. Really, really wanting it. What a way that would have been. But Cosmic Cosmos with a good recovery. And uh, he's poised to take a stock here if he can get a couple of nice hits in. This is just such a close game, Pod. I looked at those initial 15 seconds, and I thought that Cosmic Cosmos was going to put a clinic on Denti, but Denti, not out yet. The limit is ready to oh. be broken. Guess the side B. Oh, my goodness. Denti with the fist bump. Oh. And the most monotonous face I've ever seen <laughs> to go along with the fist bump. That blade beam. Blade Getting that blade beam just in time. Yeah, the blade beam is a... Uh, Actually, pretty underrated as a kill move, especially if you can catch your opponent on the other side of the stage, which is easy because the blade beam covers so much of the stage. But it's saying, you know what? I may have won that first game, but I didn't really like taking that uh, almost zero to death. So, on to Luigi. Now, Luigi's going to have a lot of early game presence if he can get in. But one, even though Luigi has these fireballs, what Cosmic Cosmos has is a, is a character that has a great amount of spacing to it. Again, something that I was, t I was discussing uh, uh, with a fellow, fellow Korn main about before the tournament was Korn sometimes can struggle whenever it comes to some of these zone-oriented characters just because that's what beats a character with great spacing on, uh, on normals. And so far, I mean, Cosmic Cosmos has been doing an all right job, uh, you know, with Luigi and uh, actually getting out of a lot of his combos, which is uh, a huge thing against Luigi, but 
Cosmic Cosmos needs to be careful to not use that down air to get out of the combos too much because if Denti's able to shield that, he can sure you can hold. That up be so devastating. This match looking very reminiscent of the end of that last match and is incredibly close between these two players. And the down smash. The, um, again, the weak hit of that is on the Lancer. What's interesting is that on the forward smash and on the up smash, tippers do extra damage for Korra. But on down smash, tippers are worse. It's interesting. Certainly a character with all sorts of crazy attributes. Yeah, that constant hitbox around Korra with that sword is uh, really something to think about. Cosmo is getting a grab there. He's continuing to put on a lot of percentage. Denti really struggling right now to take the stock, and he's wow. struggling to find answers as Cosmic Cosmos gets another sweet spot on that joust. And like we said, so much utilization out of that side B, using it as a mix-up option, using it as a movement option, as a recovery option, and a kill option. There's nothing that side B really can't do unless your opponent knows when you're going to side B and where you're going to go when you side B. So this series tied up at one apiece. Umbra Clock Tower is legal actually at this tournament to, to kind of celebrate this DLC. I don't know how long it'll stay legal. Yeah, but, I don't know uh, how long. For but right now, it seems like uh, a lot of fun. We had Delfino at one point. We had <laughs> Castle Siege at one point. So why not give Umber Clock Tower a try? We'll, we'll give it a shot. So an interesting thing that some people don't know about the stage is that uh, the clock face is actually a dip uh, under the sides of it. So, uh, if you use a projectile down there, uh, like Link's bomb, it can actually hit the lip and just explode as it roll. Really? Uh, so it's a very interesting and actually one of the jankier parts about the stage, apart from maybe the platforms going under. Um, and you see there, uh, no matter what you do, if you get stuck on one of those platforms, you're not going to get carried off. That platform was still so scary. <laughs> it's still scary. It still though. was really scary, man. Especially if your opponent can reach something like that. Uh, maybe a vertical killer like Fox, or maybe even Corrin, who has a couple of vertical kill options. They can see that coming. Oh, wow. He saw that coming. Yeah, we definitely saw that coming. What a gem. So here's one of the more interesting transformations. When we have those platforms under the stage, the bottom one, you can grab the ledge, and this is going to be big for Denti. He's just going to get a free limit charge. We saw what Denti was able to do in that first game when we had this tournament. Ooh, to be utilized. Right now for Cosmic Cosmos, he really wants to force Denti to use this limit break in a defensive way rather than an offensive way. He's kind of pinning him towards this area here. Denti once again getting stuck on that platform as he goes up. Doesn't quite find the proper call out on that finishing touch. Cosmic Cosmos still retaining the stock. Ooh, the forward smash. So much range on the forward smash. Oh my god! And that's it. Cosmic Cosmos. He may have lost on Monday. But coming out Wednesday and taking it over Denti, he's got it. One. He's got it big. He had the. I mean, he had that match on lockdown. He really did. He really did. You know, truth be told, I don't know how I felt about the, the Luigi pick. Like the cloud worked. The cloud, yeah, the cloud got the game. However close, it got the game. And I mean, I don't know about Luigi. I mean, Luigi's kind of more about, uh, you know kind of making your opponent come to you and kind of spacing them out. Corrin's just a little better at that, I feel. That's right. That's right. And, uh, and the, you know, we, we didn't see too many grabs now, I think about it, from yeah. Luigi, right? He got, I mean, he got a couple and he made them count, but the fact that he wasn't able to get in and get the grabs is, I mean, that'll, kill, that'll kill any Luigi. It man. says a lot. Uh, actually, typo.